Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video in our channel and today we are going to discuss regarding, today we are going to discuss regarding one of the most uh, good hiring drive that is going on currently and I have not posted about it uh, yet but uh, like there are many people who have already applied for that and uh, many uh, already got their assessment they have already completed round 1 and they have also started round 2 so this assessment is not closed yet okay so this assessment is still active see you can check that uh, this is still live showing here and you can start click on this start now button and any time and it will start so until this is live i don't know when this will not be a live like i am posting this video now make sure if you want to apply for this make sure you are applying right now okay by tonight only and make sure you are also sharing this with friends whom you think that might need or that might be interested in this job role because this is not going to stay active for much time though it is showing that it will be closed on january 7th but still there is a good chance because many many students have already applied and many are also going to apply so there is a good chance that uh, they might close it soon enough so this is the netcore backend developer hiring challenge we are going to discuss regarding this and all about round 1 and round 2 but before moving on make sure you are subscribing to our channel and joining our telegram group for much more this type of hiring videos we post regarding this type of hiring videos daily so make sure you are subscribing and joining our telegram channel for uh, getting all updates uh, netcore is hiring for backend developer okay so this is a specific job role that is for, for backend developer and this is go this is the hiring challenge like this is just a, as a hacker art hiring challenge that is going on and this is just the round one job opportunity is from open from december 22 and still uh, going on and it will be closed on january 2000 uh, january 7 2024 the duration of the exam will be two hours and 30 minutes the challenge so let's see so these things you do not need to worry about this is just uh, the description of the company so let's check the challenge they are, they are developing a backend developer stream and strengthen their team for uh, magical ds and uh, algo feed to programming appetite continuous growth these things you need to know like mainly ds and algo these things you need to know uh, enroll yourself in the net course hackathon challenge and in total season will offer an array of challenges to match your unique skills set across to exciting level so there are basically two levels they have uh, mentioned here okay round one and round two so the winners will walk away and walk away tall with a fabulous job offer at the from netcode cloud so netcode cloud is hiring netcode cloud have, have netcode cloud have given this job opportunity and if you clear both rounds you will be going there so while we are looking for backend engineers we appreciate to provide opportunities to people who want to switch tracks and explore a move from java or go or to android okay ios and go on to become full stack engineers okay so what are the eligibility criteria the eligibility criteria is the year of experience must be between 0 to 5 years so see freshers are also eligible so 0 years experience eligible up to 5 years if your experience is less than 5 years you are okay and good to go the skills you need is only ds and algo okay so if you have good skills in data structure and algorithm and you have experience less than five years then you are good to go for this challenge the challenge format will be for round one there will be two basic programming questions very basic programming questions will be there two questions and timing will be two hours 30 minutes but it is mentioned champs will finish in an hour okay so try to finish the coding question as soon as you can okay so everyone will be eventually clearing or eventually uh, solving all the coding questions okay like, like you know like how the assessments goes um, some takes help from friends and all so everyone can clear these assessments nowadays but the two things will be uh, working as parameters first will be the number of test cases you are passing so try to pass all the test cases okay because most of the candidates are going to do that for round one most of the candidates will pass all the test cases also make sure that you are finishing in a very short amount of time okay the faster you finish the higher will be your chances of uh, going to the next stage okay because if all the candidates are completing uh, same number of test cases then how they will consider so they will then check how fast the candidates have completed or cleared the test cases okay the programming language restricted to java and go only these two programming languages are eligible c++ python these are not eligible okay only java and go these two are eligible the state starts from 22nd september 6th we already it started and open until so you already know that the next will be round two round two will be programming questions and two programming questions round one was basic programming questions two there was also two questions here will also be two questions round one was basic there will be not basic questions 
also there will be a same 2 hour 30 minutes but you have to again be quick and have to clear all the test cases try it, at least try to do so here also it will be only restricted to java and go so after clearing both these rounds you have to finish uh, the tests and then you have to apply by filling the job details only then it will be a successful job application okay so if you clear both those only then you will be a successful job application so make sure you are applying this as soon as possible also one more thing make sure you are if you are copying code from anyone else make sure you are making changes into it because hacker earth have a very good plagiarism check so make sure you are your code is not line by line copied okay so that's it